Oh hey, I didn't see you there. My name is Justin. I'm Blake. Okay. Welcome to the long exposure tutorial. The long exposure shot is when you leave the shutter open for an extended period of time. This allows you to capture more light and see things that you normally wouldn't see. So for your long exposure shots, you're going to want to get your DSLR camera, such as the Canon T3i, which is what we used. And then you're going to want to take it off autofocus and set it onto the manual. And then you're going to want to use a longer shutter speed, which by doing that, that'll keep the shutter open and that'll allow you to capture a lot of light trails, giving you those cool effects of long exposure. You're also going to want to set your aperture up high. This way not a lot of light comes in, otherwise your shot will be really bright and it won't turn out very well. So first off, I'm just going to walk you guys through the settings here. Uh, we're using the Canon Rebel T3i. You know, it's a great introductory camera. Uh, so to start off, we'll be looking at the shutter speed here. So 20 seconds is kind of a generally a good shutter speed. You know, you get you get time into to to write your 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 art or whatever. You know, um, onto the f-stop. The f-stop uh, really just allows the uh, the light into the into the lens there, getting to the sensor. So if you're in an area like this where there's about a lot of ambient light, it really cuts that out and it allows the the, the flashlight or whatever you're using to write with to uh, to really show up. Now the, the ISO, it's really dependent, you know, ISO 100 is good enough for us, uh, it makes it nice and dark, uh, it shows light. So yeah, that's basically all the settings you'll need. Uh, definitely use the, the self timer here, we have it on 10 seconds, it gives the person who's writing time to get around, you know, if we're, if we're using a flash. So for this four man kind of morph shot, we set the shutter speed to 30 seconds so we'd have plenty of time for each of us to kind of jump in front of the camera with a flashlight and shine the light on a different body part. And then when you, all, when you put it all together, it looks really cool. So here we're going to do a long exposure demonstration, but just for this one we're going to have the lights on so you can obviously see what we're doing. So after Justin told me what a long exposure was, I wanted to try it for myself. So I went on stage and shut all the lights off, grabbed a flashlight, made some scribbles everywhere, and it actually turned out to be a really cool picture in the end. For this shot I took Christmas lights and swirled them around my head for about 20 seconds. It took me a while to get the shot how I want it, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now for this uh, long exposure we decided to write with light instead of draw. Um, it's a lot similar as drawing with light, uh, except for you're obviously writing instead of doing random abstract um, things with it. Um, now, for when you do this, you always got to be conscious of what way the letters are turning out, um, because from your perspective, it'll be a lot different than the camera's perspective, right? So it'll be backwards and flipped and all this sort of stuff. So you really have to think about it before you uh, before you start it up. Alright, so now that you guys know how to do long exposures, uh, I hope you have a good time with that, you know, go take some, some long exposure shots, um, you know, have fun. <laughs>